was my 14th year teaching art at Scripps Middle School in Lake Orion. And um, before that, you know, I was just a college student at MSU and grew up in Escanaba, Michigan in the UP. You know, studied to be an art teacher, so my first goal was to figure out how to teach art. So in order to do that, I had to, you know, become better at painting and drawing and all kinds of different media. Um, so after teaching for a while, then I realized I wanted to not just be an art teacher, but actually want to be an artist as well. So in my free time, uh, I started working on uh, paintings again. I think some of it can tend to be goofy. Uh, this particular one is a little more surreal where I have, you know, obviously a tree and the tree is separated. Some of the branches are separated so the tree still stands, although it's not connected. I don't burden myself with thinking too much about, you know, the work before I start. So I usually just dig right in. As far as the motivation goes, um, I've been a diabetic for 30 years. So sometimes this is like a positive way to blow off some steam as far as dealing with being a diabetic and uh, just kind of takes my mind off of it and takes some, some of that energy and puts it into a positive light. Coming from a teacher's point of view, uh, art more and more means you know, uh, an area for kids to express themselves. A lot of times at, at school, um, you know, there's more and more state level mandates and it, it feels like we're, we're so over testing the kids sometimes that, that uh, it takes away any creativity. And in my classroom sometimes there are certain kids that are just so afraid of doing things wrong. And with, with art I try to tell them that you know, it's okay to do it wrong because sometimes you learn from that mistake and uh, something really cool happens. So like, I think art is a way that it teaches kids to, to be creative and, and to relax about it. Probably about five or six years ago I did uh, one of the recycled art shows and I've done several since then and I just kind of like the idea of taking something that's would normally be garbage and turning it into art so you know behind these canvases I have a lot of paintings on on, on older windows that most people would probably just throw away and you know, whenever I have something that sounds to fit into what the Orient Art Center is offering for a show I, you know, I, I take part of it like recently and I think it's still up is the um, portraits show I, I have a a portrait on top of one of my windows on display there. So uh, try to be a part of the art community and not just be an art teacher.